Community Viewpoint. And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for the segment. And once you know it, we made it into February, so th thankful. We're thankful for that. Uh, with February, we have uh, something special coming up for the folks in Pahrump who are looking for jobs. We have the uh, uh, Nye Communities Coalition, which I was part of uh, for uh, some good years uh, as a regular employee and also as AmeriCorps. And we have with us today Ed Kelly, who will be spearheading the, uh, what is it called now? It is the Career and Volunteer Fair. Okay. And upcoming, we hold them quarterly. That's right. So this is the, the spring one, spring into uh, Valentine's Day. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the, uh, uh, what we can expect at the uh, employee uh, and employer uh, career fair. Career fair. Career fair. Um, in the past, they've been called job fairs or job and volunteer fairs. We like to say it's a career and volunteer fair because we're looking to make that co you know connection between the, the job seeker and that employer to have some longevity, so a career, mm -hmm. uh, looking for a career. This one is actually falling on Valentine's Day, so <laughs> yes. uh, February 14th, 9 a.m. to noon in the NAC, which is our Nye Activity Center at 1020 East Wilson Road. Um, employers will come in and set up uh, around 8.30 and then we open the doors to the public and the job seekers at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we, any employers that have not been involved in it in the past and are interested, uh, they can give me a call, 727-9970, uh, down there at the coalition or send me an email. My email is very simple, John. It's ed at nycc.org. Uh, ed yes, at nycc.org. Yeah. Um, we usually have around 20 plus employers looking to fill their gaps mm -hmm. and they will uh, meet face to face, accept resumes, do interviews on the spot and uh, hire on the spot. So mm -hmm. at the last job fair, there was, I think 18 that were hired on the spot. Okay. And that could be anything from, I'm sorry, I'm old, I'm old soup to nuts, but um, it could be manual labor to uh, office jobs. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm, yeah, to management and, and above, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know <coughs> we've had the uh, the racetracks been there in the past too, uh, mm -hmm. among uh, other people. But uh, when you said, uh, talking about resumes too, that that's part of what the Nye Communities Coalition does is uh, help folks with resumes. I, I quit. Before, let's see, when I was about 62, 63, I quit updating my, my resume. So mine is uh, out, out the pasture now. But if the younger folks need resumes, uh, Nike uh, Community Coalition. Young and old, them. come on down. Yeah. Uh, we have the computer room, uh, our resource room. So we have the computers for their usage, anything that's related to job searching, filling out online applications, uh, preparing their resumes, uh, printing their resumes for the job fair. They can come down uh, the week uh, prior, you know, getting ready for the job fair. Come on down, update your resume every day, print a few more, print a few more so that you have a nice um, stack to, to give to the employers when you meet them face to face. We do have resume builder and dress for success workshop. We have a job readiness workshop. And those are definitely the steps to help you get more prepared to meet with these employers. And you have a clothes closet there too? We also have a clothing closet, yes. So if you need um, interview clothes, mm -hmm. uh, clothes for work, if you just don't have them and they say, oh, you need black pants and a, and a white shirt, come on down, see if we have it in the clothing closet. Yes. It's all donations that are brought into our uh, facility. And they're all clean too, so don't, yeah. you don't have to worry yeah. about that, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a great service, uh, and um, that's one, if you have an excuse that I can't find a job because of this, that, and the other, this takes those out, out of the, uh, the equation, folks. Yeah, we so have a lot of, lot of programs to help the job seekers uh, to come on down, and uh, orientation is a big one. Come to orientation on Wednesday. The next one is February 5th. And the orientation does what? Orientation is going to tell you about all of our programs oh. how and the resources that we have to assist you 
uh, and help you be uh, more prepared and be a, a better, uh, well-prepared job seeker. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's excellent. And did we give the address yet? Yeah, 1020 East Wilson Road, down behind, everybody says the road behind Walmart. Walmart, yes. Yeah. Um, we also, with our orientation class, you'll learn about the list of approved trainings that we have uh. through our funder. So if anybody is interested, if you're looking to better your education, change a career, uh, just get more education, uh, there, we have a list that we can possibly pay for your, your, your training and your, and your education. So um, you have to come to orientation in order to find that out and how you can become our client and how we can assist you with that and pay for your training. And maybe and maybe some other things. Maybe pay for fuel or tools that you may need well, to start your too, job. That's yes. true too. Yeah, you have yeah. that uh, the ability to help uh, us with also and veterans. Uh, there's veterans a, are a priority. Yes, we are. <laughs> so uh, th those are all things that you can expect by going to the coalition, not only the 14th of uh, February, but uh, to look for uh, jobs. So you have once you register there. Uh, you have all the jobs on the board over there by uh, your area there. Yeah, we have jobs on our job board that oh we God, yes. get from the employers. We get their information, find out what their needs are. We post those on our local job boards for people to come and take a look at, find something that they're interested in. We will screen them for the employer ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And then if they're a fit for that job, then we'll uh, tell them how to apply. So you have your own little satellite uh, area too at the uh, the library. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. We have uh, a room over there uh, that has uh, a little uh, turnstile thing with all the jobs on it, also. And it's not necessarily for Pahrump, so you have you can go up to uh, Beatty if there's anything up there, mm -hmm. Tonopah. So the jobs that are listed, all those different areas. Uh, uh, within Nye County, Nye County, basically. Yeah, Nye and Esmeralda County. We uh, okay. are in Esmeralda County, also. Yes. Uh, we have an office up in Tonopah, so we service that uh, area up there, also. Yes. And then we also have our Youth Works program, which is um, so not just someone that's you know tw in their twenties and changing careers or looking for a new job. We also have a Youth Works program, mm -hmm. uh, ages sixteen to twenty-four. Uh, we help them obtain their driver's licenses, uh, uh, make sure that they're on track to graduate, uh, uh, yes. give them additional services. Uh, and we have what's called a, a WEX, which is called a work experience. And a work experience is we work closely, closely excuse me, with an employer or employers. Uh, they basically get a employee that is our employee through NICC, mm -hmm. Nike Means Coalition. Um, and we pay their wages, their workers' comp, their into their Medicare, all that kind of stuff. That employer signs that contract that they're going to agree to train them and give them work experience. Okay, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. And so the employer uh, benefits by getting someone that they can train and mold mm -hmm. and give them these uh, individuals, these youth, the, the, those skills. And the youth gains that experience. And then hopefully at the end, if all works out, uh, they find a position for them and, and keep them and then hire them on. So Interesting. it's a win-win all the way around. Yeah. Yes. So there are many facets to the Nye Communities Coalition. NYECC.org is how you find that online? Yes. Yes. And we just uh, have, uh, what's today? Oh, tomorrow will be February 1st, mm -hmm. right? Actually, mm -hmm. actually, when you see this, it'll be February 1st. <laughs> but there'll be a new newsletter out, and we've got one that's Correct. fresh off the, uh, the press. Off the here. press, yes. Yeah. And the, the newsletter is about 40 or 50 pages with different uh, uh, things that are um, uh, presented by the, the coalition. And you happen to have the, the new edition. I do, right off the press. It and was... what are some of the other things that we could uh, see that uh, is... Uh, at the uh, Nye Communities Coalition. Uh, first, I'd like to go backwards a minute. Since I talked about the Youth Works program, I definitely want to mention um, on our adult side, we have uh, what we call OJTs, on-the-job trainings. So an employer uh, is looking to fill a position. Uh, let's say they have someone that may already be working for them, but they want to step them up to the next level. Yeah. Um, if they're going to gain more skills and they're going to train them in those skills, we can do what's called an on-the-job training. 
and we reimburse the employer up to 50% of their wages during an allotted amount of time mm -hmm. if it's a qualified uh, candidate for that program. Uh, if they're not already working for them and hired and they have a gap and they're looking to bring someone in that just doesn't have those skills that they really need to, to fine tune them, we bring that that client in. They have to be a fit for our program first as a client. Okay. We bring that client in, we put them with the employer, uh, and again, we can reimburse up to 50% of their wages for an allotted uh, amount of time. Some of those have gone up to 960 hours. Um, they start as low as 120 hours and, and kind of go, depending on the skill set. So I just wanted to mention that also and get that out there. There's a lot of things that are available at the coalition, folks. Yes, a lot of things. So moving, moving back to what we were talking about, events coming up, our largest uh, fundraiser that we hold for the coalition mm -hmm. uh, is our Hope Run, uh, okay. Hope Run slash Walk. You don't have to run it. Uh, 2020 Hope Run is going to be March 28th. Okay. Uh, the race start is 8 a.m. If you sign up ahead of time, it's a, only a $20 entry fee. This is our fundraiser that goes to all of our programs and our only largest fundraiser that goes to all of our programs on uh, our on our site. Mm -hmm. So um, contact us down here at the coalition to get the information. You can sign up online, but we prefer you come down and, and, and meet us face to face. Yeah. Come to the campus. Yes, and that's been growing uh, through the years too. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. very so, large. Yes. Last year was over 700. Yes, yes. And I so remember. I think we're we're looking to have over 800 uh, coming up this year. Some of our other events upcoming are uh, very important to the community, and it's um, Youth Mental Health First Aid course, and it is free. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is actually going to be this Saturday, which is tomorrow, February 1st, and that one is 8 to 5 on our campus. You can call Leanna Luna on campus to register for that, 727-9970, and her extension is 204. Okay. Then we have another one on February 4th. So if you can't make this Saturday, February 4th is the next one. And then there's also on February 18th, a, sorry, I'm gonna ruffle pages here as I turn. Um, we have the Safe Talk program and that's from 8 a.m. to noon. All of these are open to the public and at no cost. Thank you. And we're out of time. Oh, man. Thank you. It went by. Yeah. Oh.